Welcome to the Red Wing Shoe Store Amsterdam. The story of Red Wing Shoes began way back in 1905. Let's take you to the beginning. In 1905, a Main Street shoe merchant called Charles Beckman spotted a demand for comfortable, durable work boots, yet there was no supply. With 14 local investors, he set up the Red Wing Shoe Company. Taking its name and logo from a Native American called Red Wing, the leader of the original inhabitants of the Upper Mississippi River Territory. Their goal? Build a better work boot. The original work boot from the first year of Red Wing production combined leather, buckles and laces for a secure fit. In 1909, Charles Beckman opened the doors of the first Red Wing shoe factory, located at the corner of Main Street in Red Wing, Minnesota. To this day, the location is still used by Red Wing Shoes for product development. The first generation of shoemaking craftsmen cut Red Wing's heavyweight, high quality leather by hand. Today, cutting rooms operate in much the same way to yield premium parts for Red Wing's high quality footwear. Finished shoes packed in wooden crates are loaded on wagons headed to the nearby Mississippi Riverfront, loaded onto trains and river boats destined for retailers. Outstanding quality was the essence of Red Wing products. This 1919 ad highlights the hand nailed construction of the boots. With the introduction of the boots for oil field workers, Red Wing started developing work boots to meet specific occupational needs. In 1928, the Wing logo, which has come to represent the brand till this day, is introduced. The logo is modelled on the feathers used in the Chief Red Wing's ceremonial headdress. In the early 30s, the Billy Boot was built to meet the demands of America's adventurous youth. The style featured a side snap pocket for a pocket knife. It became one of the company's top selling styles. In the 1930s, trains were the backbone of transport throughout America. The engineer boot was created to serve the needs of the men who piloted these steam-powered behemoths. Red Wing introduces its first mobile shoe sales service, bringing the boots directly to the end consumer. In 1952, the Irish Setter 877 hunting boot is introduced. The unique Irish Setter leather mirrors the colour of the hunting breed. This match leads to the boot's unique Irish Setter name and dog logo. A second factory is opened in Red Wing, Minnesota to keep up with the growing worldwide demand. It's located three miles down the road from the original factory. The Red Wing, Minnesota-based business, SB Foot Tannery, has been supplying Red Wing with premium leathers since 1905. The SB Foot Tanning Company was established in 1872 and has been part of Red Wing, Minnesota community for generations. Red Wing Shoe Company and SB Foot Tannery joined forces in 1987. Fun fact, properly tanned leather can maintain its properties in excess of 50 years. Beginning in the 1970s, Red Wing made the unintentional crossover from work to fashion. In Europe and Japan, individuals began wearing work boots as stylized Americana footwear. Shortly after, Jack Nicholson wore a pair of 877 Irish setter boots in the famous One Floor Over the Cuckoo's Nest, filmed in 1975. Today, celebrity culture like Keanu Reeves, Bradley Cooper, David Beckham and Tom York embrace the Red Wing ethos. The Red Wing Shoe Company celebrates its 100th anniversary with the construction of the world's largest boot. It's an 877 in size 638 and a half D. That's about six meters in length, five meters in height and two meters wide. It took Red Wing 13 months to complete this single boot and it weighs about 1,050 kilograms. The Red Wing Shoe Store Amsterdam opens its doors in 2010. We are a proud family member of the Red Wing community since 2010. This year, we celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the Red Wing Shoe Store Amsterdam with a spectacular limited edition.